Hello, my name's Inspector Peter Ferry. It's Friday the 9th of January 2015 and this is the first of uh, our New Year um, series of Police News Updates, so welcome to you. Firstly from me today, I'm just going to talk to you about the, the nighttime economy and any issues we might have had over Christmas and New Year. I'm going to tell you it's been extremely, extremely quiet over that period. We only had two arrests during the, during the entire festive period that I could put down to um, drunkenness, in the high street, so I'm, I'm really, really pleased with that, really happy. The officers that were patrolling reported that people were good-natured and although they had a drink, there were no great problems at all. We had one um, minor arrest for a fray and one minor arrest for, I think it was, common assault. So, in general terms, that is extremely quiet. Secondly, today I'm going to talk about the SNT priorities. They've changed somewhat. Uh, when we had our last meeting at the start of December, we talked about um, the festive clampdown on potential antisocial behaviour. Well, now that the festive period has ended, that's going to be replaced by another one, and I'll read it to you now. It's Harewood Terrace, Linton Place, and Glemsford Place antisocial behaviour, fly tipping, noise, and public nuisance caused by residents of multi occupancy properties, possibly owned by one person. And at the meeting at the start of December, that was the one that came joint fourth. Um, so now that the festive one is gone, we're going to introduce that one. So that's something a little bit different, something for the SNT to get their, get their teeth into. Thirdly today, I'm going to talk about um, a couple of shoplifters, regular shoplifters that we have in Haverhill. Uh, you'll know from, from previous ones that shoplifting has always been one of those, those crimes that's got me particularly worried. And we've uh, arrested and dealt with a couple of people last weekend that have been really regular shoplifters. They're going to be in court on the 20th of January and I'll provide you their details once they've, they've been in court. Uh, but they've been charged with going equipped to steal and what they were doing, they had a special foil lined bag that they used to go into shops with, um, put items in and then they'd walk out and it wouldn't set off the, uh, the detection devices by the doors. Um, but they've also been charged with a theft at Iceland on the 4th of January, a theft at Aldi's on the 4th of January again, and a theft at Boots on the 14th of December, so before Christmas. And all in all, their, their thieving came to nearly £300, and I'm sure they've been involved in other thefts as well that haven't been detected. So um, we're going to keep a very close eye out for those two people, and we're also going to keep a close eye out for any other shoplifters. It is one of our um, major response priorities to crack down on shoplifters that are causing problems in the town. And then lastly from me today is a bit of a shorter um, presentation than usual. I'm just going to give you some good news really. We, we've got a lot of our SNT officers are, have been out on cycles in the last couple of weeks and that's something that's going to carry on um, through, the, through the next few months. It's a way of us getting out, and I've been out a few times as well myself on the bikes. It's a way for us to get out on all the estates and actually get to meet people. Uh, I know people are always keen to see uh, Bobby's on the beat, and that, that is exactly what we're doing. So we're putting officers out on cycle patrol, uh, trying to get them out of their cars and get them onto cycles to, to meet and greet more people and to find out what's going on in the town. Certainly when I was out the other day, I spoke to more people on the cycle in a couple of hours than I had done in the previous week. So it, it really is a good way of us getting to meet the people of Haverhill and find out what they need. So give us a wave if you see me uh, and don't take the mickey because I, I do need to lose a fair old bit of weight. So hopefully I'll see you over the next couple of weeks on a bike. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.